Hi, my name is Sebastian Matteau and welcome to this video on neurons and brain anatomy in the video course Biological Psychology. Now, this, uh, this first video, video 2.1, is the introduction to this lecture, to the full lecture on neurons and brain anatomy. So let's start with a little bit of reading. So if you want to read some more of the stuff that we're going to talk about in this lecture, I recommend that you download uh, the free textbooks that have been provided by OpenStax, very good free textbooks, and especially from the psychology textbook, uh, chapters, uh, sections 3.2, 3.3, and 3.4. And from the Anatomy and Physiology textbook, also from OpenStax, uh, chapter 12 about the nervous system and nervous tissue. Now, the Anatomy and Physiology textbook is fairly detailed, so if you really want to get into the subject matter, I would recommend reading uh, chapter 12 from that textbook. If you prefer to have a more uh, a quicker, less in-depth uh, introduction into neurons and brain anatomy, I think that the psychology textbook uh, is a good start. And of course, you can read both. Now, uh, I always like to recommend for the interested uh, viewer uh, a more accessible book and a popular science book. And for this lecture, I would like to recommend How Intelligence Happens, which uh, is written by, has been written by John Duncan. Now, John Duncan is really one of the world's best, in my opinion, uh, neuroscientists. And we will also meet uh, some of his uh, contributions to research at later points in this, uh, this course. For example, when during the course on attention, the lecture on attention, we're going to talk about the biased competition theory of attention, which was proposed, among others, by John Duncan. So he's really a very big name in the field. And in this book, which I like a lot, he talks about how the brain gives rise to intelligent behavior. So it's really a book that, like this course, operates on the, 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 the frontier between psychology and, uh, and, and biology, right? The link between brain and behavior. Now, what are we going to talk about in this section, this, this lecture about neurons and brain anatomy? In the, the next video, video 2.2, we're going to talk about what a neuron is, which you probably know, a neuron is a brain cell, and about the membrane potential, which is an important concept uh, when talking about neurons. Then in video 2.3, we're going to talk about synapses, which uh, are connections between neurons, and action potentials. And an action potential is basically a spike of activity of a single neuron. It's what happens when a neuron becomes active. Then after we've looked at uh, the smallest part of the brain, right, neurons, you can think of neurons as the smallest building blocks of the brain, I think. Of course, neurons are themselves uh, built up out of, out of uh, molecules and atoms, etc. But I think from a, from a biological psychology perspective, you can say that neurons are the smallest elements that really matter. Uh, so that's where we will start. And then in, uh, in video 2.4, we will take a more bird's eye view and look at the brain from a more large scale perspective and learn to navigate the brain. So what kind of terms we use to describe what the front of the brain is and the back of the brain is, etc. And in 2.5, we're going to look at the major divisions of the nervous system, right? So the labels that we use to describe the different parts of the nervous system. Now, this, this section that we're going to talk about now, these videos, form the basis for the rest of the course, uh, Biological Psychology. Uh, and it is, I think, immediately the most information dense part of, part of the course, because by its very nature, really talking about neurons and action potentials is quite detailed, it's quite complicated stuff. But it's necessary if we want to be able to understand the more cognitive processes like memory, uh, and perception and attention that we're going to talk about later. Now, and don't, don't expect to remember everything in one go, especially if you have no background in chemistry or biology. That's totally okay. The goal is to get a general idea of how the brain works. So to try to understand the general principles of neural communication and the general architecture of the brain. And then if you want to get a more in-depth knowledge of how everything works, you can just take your time to review the slides, right? Or review this video and to read the relevant chapters in the OpenStax textbooks until you kind of gradually incorporate all the information uh, that is in here. Now, with that, let's move on to the next video uh, in which we're going to talk about neurons and the membrane potential.